Hi, I'd like to talk to you about factors that affect rate. How can we make rate go faster or slower? We usually think faster, but remember there are times that we will want to slow down a rate, um, maybe slow down the absorption of medicine in a body or slow down a decaying process. Most of the times though, you're right, we want things to go fast. That's just our society. Okay, now in order to talk about these four factors, we're going to justify them with the collision theory. So really quick review, the collision theory tells us that we need two things in order for a reaction to happen. We have to have proper orientation. So for this cap to go on to this marker, it has to be properly oriented. So proper orientation, molecules have to hit at the right spot. And then you have to have enough energy. There has to be enough energy to force that cap onto the, the marker, just like there has to be enough energy when molecules hit in that correct position. Um, so let's look at our four factors. We've got concentration, temperature, surface area, and a catalyst. Those will all impact the rate of a reaction. And remember, rate is going to be change of concentration, moles per liter, change of concentration over time. Um, if we're talking about reactants, how much is consumed, those moles per liter over time. Um, okay, so concentration, here it is. If you increase the concentration, you increase the rate increase concentration, you're going to increase the rate. Now, the million dollar question on all of these is going to be why? Why is it if you increase the concentration, you increase the rate? Um, well, I'd like to give you a visual. You'll recall that we have an exponential decay when we have concentration of the reactant versus time. Notice the greatest rate is right here at the beginning. That's the fastest rate in which reactants will be consumed. And then down here, the rate gets much, slow, uh, much slower. Why? Higher concentration. This all lives in right there, proper orientation. So I'm going to put PE, proper orientation, PO. I guess orientation starts with an O. <laughs> proper orientation. Um, the more molecules that you have, the greater probability that when they hit, they will hit with the proper orientation. So when you increase concentration, statistically, greater probability that molecules will hit with that proper orientation and you'll increase the rate. Okay, our next one, temperature. So this actually is justified by both of these. So pretty intuitive that if you increase the temperature, you're also going to increase the rate. Um, you can think about um, dissolving a hot chocolate mix into water. If you have hotter water, it dissolves faster. That's going to be rate. Uh, the rate at which that dissolves will increase because you've increased the temperature. Okay, big reasons why. When you increase the temperature, molecules move faster. So it's going to um, be the same explanation here. If you have more collisions, there's going to be a greater pro um, possibility, probability that they will collide with proper orientation. So this is going to be justified with uh, proper orientation. It's because you have more collisions, greater um, possibility that they will collide with proper orientation. And when you increase the temperature, you're also putting energy into it. Uh, so this is also going to be enough energy um, that we're going to provide the energy needed for the activation energy. And if you have a question on activation energy, watch that video in the rate playlist. Okay, surface area. If we increase the surface area, surface area, we are also going to increase the rate. Increase the rate. It should be a lot better. There we go. Um, think about this with me. Um, let's have one gram that's a sugar cube, so a little square, and then let's have one gram that is a crushed sugar cube. So we have all this granule sugar. I'm going to take two cups of tea, I'll put the cube of sugar in one and the granular uh, sugar in the other cup. Which one's going to dissolve faster? Well, you and I know is the one that's been crushed, is the granule sh sugar. And here's the reason why. The surface area has been increased. So there are more sites for reactions to happen. When you increase that surface area, there's going to be really more, um, let's see, there's going to be more collisions, more active sites where collisions can happen. And whenever you have more collisions, statistically you have a greater probability that they will collide with proper orientation. So this one is also going to be proper orientation. Simply because you increase the surface area, increase those um, 
active sites uh, where molecules could collide. Increase number of molecules colliding, you're going to have greater chance of proper orientation, a faster rate. Okay, a catalyst. Now, catalysts are really special. Um, I have a whole video on Catalyst if you need to um, watch that, especially for AP. AP's put a lot of detail into Catalyst, so watch that, um, that video on types of Catalysts. Um, and activation energy. This is all embedded in activation energy. So if you haven't watched that video, watch the video on activation energy. A Catalyst is going to increase the rate by decreasing the activation energy activation energy and remember our symbol for activation energy is e of a so let's look at our graph here um, there is my activation energy diagram when we add a catalyst okay you'll recall that the activation energy is from here reactants to the um, trans transition state that's the energy that we have to put into it right there Okay, cool thing about a catalyst, it decreases the activation energy. So instead of needing maybe 100 kilojoules for activation energy, now we only need 70 kilojoules. So by decreasing the activation energy, the rate's going to go faster because you don't have to put as much energy into it. So catalysts are going to increase the rate by um, decreasing the activation energy. Now, just in case you see this, uh, we also have what are called inhibitors, and they fall in the same category, same, same category. So an inhibitor, this is going to be something that decreases the rate, so it's going to go slower. And can you guess the finish, the ending? It decreases the rate by, you got it, increasing the activation energy. So I'm gonna use the green marker to show an inhibitor. Um, we want to slow down a reaction. If you put an inhibitor, it increases the activation energy, takes more energy, and so um, that is going to require more energy, slow down the reaction, because not as many molecules will have enough energy uh, to change from reactants to products. Okay, so there you have it. Factors that affect the rate of reaction with great justifications that you could write out um, in sentence form for uh, FRQs. All right, nice job, have a good day.